Hello everyone, welcome back to the Garden of Sinners commentary. We are on uh, Blu-ray movie number four, Garan no Do. I am not looking at what's going on, don't worry, uh, because the big spoilers are always going to be happening. Um, this movie, as far as I'm aware, is the one that takes place after the second one, which is the, the first in the timeline. Uh, but let's start with that pre-show reminder for them, for them big ol', big ol' memes. Alright, who we got now? Who's joining? Hey, it's Ryder! I want that lazy Ryder figure. How dare you, Neko Ark? A big old Tetra Pack. Look at her go! And you, eating rice cakes? Come on. Excuse me, what? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh-huh. What? Huh? What? I don't get it. Okay. Well, for one, let's not forget to put on subtitles. It's weird that they're off by default. It's very strange. Um, I don't know why they would do that. But alright guys, let's start on the fourth film here, Garan no Do, which we will hop into in three... Well, well, no, no, just wait. I lied, because I gotta do the thing where I pause, I go back, I pause, I go back, I pause, okay. No, just wait. Okay. Let's get started on this in three, two... One, play. It was only 45 minutes. It is seemingly quite a bit shorter, huh? Okay, that's fine. It's late at night anyways. I am had a couple drinks, so. It's a good logo. I love that logo. The four squares make it look like it's something you fill in, you know? Gotta no dough, the hollow shrine. March 1996. Um, where are we? It's March. Timeline. Um, okay. That is 1996 of March? That's a long ways off from where we were before. I'm so happy I have my timeline book. Yeah, we don't know how this happened yet. She was hospitalized, and we don't know why. But this was a big event. Oh, such a good soundtrack. Oh, so bopping. Oh, hey, well, that's good. You got some eye movement. Oh, God. They have to, like, keep the mouth open. She was hitting the head. Huh. Oh my god, are they doing brain surgery on her? Jeez. God, that, that's a bit too well animated. It makes me uncomfortable. Doctor stuff makes me so uncomfortable. And like the only time I've been in that situation was where they had to fix my balls. God, if you didn't hear that story, it's, I've told it so much. It's the worst. That was me, except they did it on my nuts. Because I was dying. Google a torsion, it's the worst. Oh, 
Well, oh, I was going to say that looked symbolic of death. And, um, there, what, um, what is happening? I have heard a lot of people say these movies are wonderful imagery and to get the full understanding, you do need to read it. Um, again, I'll see about that one day because I, I, I would enjoy reading the original story. And I'm going to have to for one of them, apparently, because it just never got a movie. Man, it doesn't even look like her when she's like that. That's a way to start a movie for sure. So is that her other self or her? God, what is it with hospitals making you do crazy stuff with weird alternate worlds? Oh, she is out, out. Of course, me knowing about Nasu versus stuff, I'm looking at this and I'm going, there's a couple things this could be. The void space, the origin, we'll see. Wow, she just T-posed out of there, huh? Oh, God. I'm s I am I would die if we had to be saying to on graduation. Wow, we're just going on through with the introduction, huh? So the whole thing of him seeing the dolls just happened off screen then, huh? Oh yeah, mask on, mask off. That's that's the life. Oh yeah, there's the two of them. Boy, that's like a whole anime tumblers worth of aesthetic gifts there, huh? Oh. Huh. Wow. You can like tell how much time has passed just from the hair growth. And man, it'd be even worse if they didn't get her up and moving as much as they can, because uh, muscle atrophy is, like, real rough. I can't tell what that says. I can't read that. You could have put subtitles up. 
Oh, that's interesting. Wait a second. An accident. And now seeing the lines on everything in the room? Hold the phone. Wait. Wait, did she not have the eyes before the accident? Wait, this is just Tsukihime. She... Huh. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey, here's the Tsukihime anime, everyone. Shiki's seeing the lines right in the hospital. What? Oh, God. Oh, God, is this what it looks like? Oh, man. Oh, man. I always assumed it was, like, just the lines. Not seeing them fall apart. That's horrible. Yeah, I'd go insane, too, like that. I, I thought it was like, oh, you know, I'd go insane from the black lines. It's like, it's not that bad. But seeing that... No wonder Shiki... Tono is always throwing up when he sees the lines. Seeing them falling apart like that is disgusting. That's interesting. God, she just went for her eyes right after, huh? Oh, Mr. Puppy. That's adorable. Hello? Tattoos? In Japan? It must be Yakuza. Speech therapist. Interesting. Oh, come on. She's got the things on her eyes. I want her to say I see at one point. Please, we need to complete the meme trilogy. What is aphasia? I don't know what that is. I think I googled that before. Doing it again. Condition that robs you of the ability to communicate. It occurs after a stroke or head injury. Okay. Huh. Just says it outright. Okay, so she lost contact with her, her other self.
So again, this truly was the prototype for Tsukihime in so many ways. Hey, I'm literally drinking tea right now. It's like I'm right in the movie. Uh, that's like a hospital window that can't open up all the way, right? She won't be seeing him anytime soon, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, that almost sounded like the Among Us theme, and I was going to throw up. I guess when you've had a second person accompanying you your whole life, it must be awfully lonely to be alone now, huh? Well, that's a job you don't get paid enough for. Oh, that's spooky. Speaking of spooky. Huh. And again, Boku, that is a male pronoun. So is it now back to... Shiki? Again, I'm keeping that up because I like that. Same name, different pronunciation. Bird. Birds. Gosh dang Disney princess. Look at that tiny CRT. Huh. Okay. Compound individual person. I feel like compound and individual, yeah, it kind of contradicts itself. Oh. 
Oh, oh man. Oh, that's sad. She doesn't even remember him. Well, she remembers him, but not his name. To be fair, his name is not very memorable. Whoa, 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 what is this? Huh, okay. Watch him be like, but what if I was in love with the one that was male? Yeah, I mean, I we still don't know the relation between Shiki and the murders. What is that in her hand? Hmm. God, being in the hospital sucks. But I can't even imagine being in the hospital with your eyes shut like that. Oh, she placed a rune or something on the door. God, the environmental art of this is so good. Just the small things of people paying for parking and you're like, it's beautiful. Or a very skinny pupper or a light flickering on in the park. Is that her mom? Oh, you can see her own hand being cut? That's the worst. So I think the interesting thing is, unlike unlike the other Shiki, she doesn't get like Mystic Eye Killers. So how does she live with that? Like, yeah, the roses are whatever. But, but for...
I really got to wonder for people who were fans of this when this came out, what was their response to Tsukihime copying the same idea, but going in a very different light? I got to wonder. Also, are you smoking in a hospital? That's such a no no. That's like super bad. Mm, they use the same word there, got on hollow. Oh, can she see it just through touching too now? It was a rune, yeah. A little bit of Celtic magic. My man is so devoted. Oh, Tatumin. Oh, Zombo? Oh. He entered the dying old man. Okay. Now, is that, like, old man teeth, or is that something deeper, I wonder? It keeps cutting to that doll. That has feelings. That, that has, there's something going on with that. Oh my god. He's doing much better than I would do singing in Japanese. <laughs> Oh my god, I love when I love when things do this dissonance. I love this dissonance. Was it also a car accident? Because if so, oh my god, Tsukihime.
Are you going to cut this man in half? Oh, this is so good. Oh, and then it hard cut. Oh, and then they go. Oh, this is so good. Oh, it's so good. Of note, she still has her eyes covered. Is she going to rip them off and just like go ham? I do have to wonder how popular Singing in the Rain was in Japan. Yeah, she landed really well. I guess he has his eyes covered too, huh? What language is that? Answers. I don't even know what language that is. Ah, that is the dead. But the dead wasn't capitalized, so it's not like a zombie dead. He's just dead dead. That's interesting. Cremation style fire is something different, huh? Ah, oh, okay. That's one way to get in the mood, I guess. Okay, uh, slight problem. You don't have anything sharp. I guess your fingers! Sorry, can you use your fingers to cut that stuff too? You're doing real good for someone who hasn't moved out of bed, like, at all for a long time. Ah, there we go. That's something to cut it with. Oh, of course. Step one. Step one is improving your character design. And the white looking outfit represents rebirth. It's so good. Oh, the way the music goes. God. That music drop was 10 out of 10. It was so good. So was that... Was that... Shiki in that corpse, though? Or was that just the dead? Because it sounded like him. Oh. Oh, 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 no, no. Sh Shiki's now inside, huh?
Did she kill the the Shiki? Because why is that blood blue? Huh? Did she see in the reflection of the blade the shiki inside her and stab shiki? Wow, just saying it out right. Huh. So you're going to return her to to the room, right? Cuz otherwise that's going to cause so much trouble for the very kind nurse who is a Disney princess. I get the idea of the hollow, for sure. I understand what they're going with. That, you know, losing a part of yourself. Oh, does she remember the name? What? No, it doesn't. Oh, wait. Cocteau? I guess it does kind of, huh? It. I guess your name does sound kind of French. Oh, her fingers were broken from the, uh, trying to cut him with the, with the fingers. So he's going to fill in that void and left in her, huh? That's nice. Well, that was definitely a shorter movie. Like, absolutely. Um, that said, I actually really liked it. Um, it was short, but it was to the point, which I kind of like. There was very little guff. It had a story, and it told it. Now, that said, because we're just told that the way Mikia found the hollow shrine was that um he saw one of toko's puppets we still haven't seen that he just joined them right um unless that's in well there's no other movie apparently that goes before so it's like unless we see it somewhere else i don't know is who knows but then again there's a chance that that's left... Gynax worked on this, huh? There's a chance that maybe it's just one of those things where, like, it's a footnote. It's it's purposefully not expounded upon because it's not big enough for them to tell that part of the story. I could see that. Um, boy. 
boy, the parallels. A Shiki wakes up in the hospital after an accident involving a car where suddenly now they can see lines of death on people. Once they see the lines of death, they're taught by an Aozaki, right? Uh, who is there to teach them to use their eyes and understand the responsibility of it. I guess the big difference is Mikia. Oh, and there's also two Shikis. Um, but Mikia exists. And is there as a grounding point. Also, this Shiki Shiki is already predisposed with violence. But then again, from where I'm at in Tsukihime, that might also be a thing. So it's like, oh man. Again, I'd be so curious to think like, what, what were people who read this novel? Wow, yeah, right there, Singing in the Rain. Huh. Um, the people who watched or who read this novel then played Tsukihime, what did they feel? We're so far away from that, and there was probably no internet at that time that I don't know if we know what the reaction was to this repeat but very different story, right? That's so cool. God, what a neat idea. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Huh. So is this the end of Shiki? If so, that's interesting. Uh, for sure. Hmm. I just feel like, I don't know, I was expecting a bit more of a confrontation. It was something to note that this, this one really went into the whole Shiki is male, Shiki is female thing. And you even saw that in their silhouettes when they were in A Part in the Void there, where Shiki had a very flat chest, where um, Shiki had at least some tertiary uh, female sexual characteristics there with, uh, she had boobs. That's, that's what I'm saying. Um, hmm. Okay. So we're going to see if there's a preview of the next one or an after credits. Well, there'll be the preview for sure, but we'll see if there's an after credits there. Um, the music in this one, this is the best one for music. Bar none. Between the singing in the rain and the theme that was used multiple times throughout at the beginning and then in the fight, 10 out of 10. Amazing. The drop in that fight where it starts up with the lyrics when she starts to attack... I cried, and by cried, I mean I got tears in my eyes, just because it, it, I get hyped, I get hype tears in my eyes, like around the corners, I do, I'm really bad for it, um, if something awesome is happening, right around the corners of my eyes, right, right in the far corners, uh, I get hype tears, and I am wiping them away right now, it's very true, alright, let's see here, or not, or not, let's keep going. Ryogi Shiki will return in Avengers Infinity War. Okay, this was the chick who was doing the, the things. Joji Nakata? Oh! Sorry, um... Kire? What is happening?
What? No, he's a he okay. He's a he's a magus. Okay. If he said he was a priest, I would have screamed. Um, but that sounds and looks like Kire. A lot. All right, what do we got for the preview? That looks like Emya. That looks a lot like Emya. Frick, there's a lot to that one paradox paradigm. God, that means stuff to those who know the story. Uh, there was a lot to that, which I don't know about. Okay. Well, um, I think this is so far my second favorite movie right behind uh, the second one. Um, I really liked it. I really did. It, it, though I liked the second one more for the opposite reason. That one was long and um, I don't want to say slice of life, but it was very... Um, it, set, it set the tone very well for what was coming ahead, and I like that. Uh, where this is the opposite. It's straight, it's to the point. Um, a short movie isn't bad. Uh, short movies are sometimes nice because they... They do what they need to, you know? So, all right, guys. Thank you all for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time for the next one. Chapter 5, Paradox Paradigm. Uh, which comes after the first movie. We're finally going ahead in the timeline. Even though I kind of want to go back to learn about what happened. But again, maybe we never will. Huh. All right, guys, I'll see you next time for some more Garden of Sinners. Ciao.